What if I told you that in the next five minutes I could teach you hard surface modeling and you could have your very own model created from scratch? Yes, that's all you need is five minutes, and although I can't make you an expert in the next five minutes, I can get you a lot closer to that point. So let's go ahead, hop into the video, and get started. So to make this video nice and short, I'm going to have to cut to the chase and show you exactly what you need to know and leave out the other less important stuff. So the first thing I want you to do here in Blender is go up here to edit, preferences, and under add-ons, I want you to turn on the bool tool add-on. Type in B-O-O-L, turn that on, and you're good to go. So in Blender by default, you're going to have the cube, and the cube's probably going to look like this. It looks awful. Go up here to the top right hand corner, turn on cavity, set the type to both, and change the ridge values to 1.5. This is going to make the cube look a lot more visually appealing. So now we're ready to model. So the tools in Blender are extremely easy to use. S is to scale, R is to rotate, G is to grab. You can remember that pretty easily. So what I want to do is scale the cube. I'm going to press S, Z, I'm going to scale it down to about here. S, X to scale it a bit on the X axis. And then S, Y to scale it a bit on the Y axis. Easy enough. And then I'll press S, Z again to scale this a little bit higher. And by the way, in Blender, the Z axis line doesn't show up. If you do want to turn that on, you can just enable it here. I don't like it, it's a bit distracting. Cool, now anytime you scale your object or rotate it, in general, I'd recommend applying your scale um, because if we go to the end panel and look under item, you're, you're gonna have these scale values right here. And although I don't wanna discuss them too in depth in this video, it's very important we keep those even. So press Control A and apply the scale. This basically tells Blender that, hey, I've made my adjustments to the model, apply them, please. That's an easy way to think about it even as a beginner. The next thing I want to do is tab into edit mode. So if I press the tab key, we have three different modes, vertex, edge, and face. And you can access those menus by pressing one, two, and three on the keyboard. So I'm going to press two to go into edge mode. I'm going to select this edge, um, select this one right here. And we're going to press control B to add a bevel. You can scroll up to add more segments. You can scroll down to make it less. I'm going to just use one segment and we're going to put it to about here. That looks okay. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side here. Control B and we're going to make this bevel a little bit bigger. All right. Easy enough. Now what I want to do is show you how to use Booleans. Booleans are an incredibly important concept in hard surface modeling. And uh, I want to make sure we introduce those as quickly as possible here. So all I want to do is tab back into object mode. I want to press shift A to add in a cube. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this cube a little bit. So I'm going to move it up. And also, if you want to go into the side view, just press the tilde key and choose right or front, whatever one you need to go into. So basically what I want to do is I want to go into front view and I want to scale this cube a little bit on the X, move it up a little bit on the Z so you can grab it G and then Z to grab it. And then we'll just use the middle mouse button to pan around a little bit. Scale it a bit on the Y, just like that. And now what I want to do is shift click on this piece, press control shift B, and this is going to allow us to use our Boolean. We're going to go to difference, okay? Nice and easy. And now what I want to do is select this piece, which we call a cutter, because it's cutting from the object. And all I want to do here is tab into edge mode, select this edge on this corner and bevel it. And we're just gonna bevel it to right about here. Now you're gonna see we have a much more interesting shape. Essentially what's happening here is we're using this object as a cutter and whatever shape this cutter has gets removed from the original object, which is why when I move this around, you can kind of see how it manipulates the original object. Pretty easy. So now what we're going to do is tab back into object mode. We're going to press H to hide that cutter. And now what I want to do is select this piece and I want to just do a little bit of some additional changes here. So the first thing I want to do is apply our Boolean. Right now you're going to see I can turn it off and on. I want to make sure we lock that in. And to do that, we're going to click here and click apply. And now you're going to see um, if I tab into edit mode, I have full access to this entire model. The last thing I want to do on this model, because I'm trying to keep this video short to the point and give you some, you know, skills you can use right away. 
The last thing I want to do here is make this model a little bit more dynamic, a bit softer. So all I'm going to do here, and I'd recommend this, is I want to take these hard, you know, sharp edges and just make them soft. We're going to press Control B, scroll up a little bit, make a bevel here, make a bevel right here, make one right here, and then just kind of repeat that process around this entire model. And you're going to see this is going to look a lot better than it did before once we're done. And then all I want to do is tab back into object mode. And now you're going to see we have a really clean looking hard surface model. Now, of course, this is basic. Of course, this is simple, but there's only so much I can teach you in a short five minute video. And the goal here was for, especially for beginners, was to get you some direct, immediate results that you can use right now. So essentially what I taught you was how to add objects, how to use Booleans, and essentially how to make the shape look cooler and more dynamic. And these are the main philosophies, the main principles you're going to want to employ pretty much any time you're making a new model. And these are just the bare basic skills you need. And now you should be able to pretty much just design your own piece. That's what I'd recommend you do right now as a matter of fact. Hop into Blender, add in a cube, do the exact steps I showed you in this video, but try to make a different shape. This is gonna get you used to Blender, get used to the tools, and also get your mind programmed to become more efficient with your modeling. And one thing I do wanna mention is that if you zoom in, you're gonna see the edges a little bit kind of like jagged, see that? All we need to do to fix that is right click to shade smooth the object. And then what we need to do is make sure we smooth based off angles. So if we go here and go to normals and turn on auto smooth, that will fix the issue. So congratulations, you have your very first hard surface model and you should be able to go into Blender now and make your own. Now, although I can't teach you all our secrets and different techniques we use in hard surface in five minutes, I can teach you a bit more in two hours. So if you do wanna learn a bit more about hard surface modeling, we have a free course on our website. It's taught by my partner, Ryu. He's another hard surface artist, very talented. And you can watch that course for free on our website. Highly recommended, um, I'll link to that in the description. But overall, put these skills to the test, practice, use these basic techniques, and you're gonna make some really cool and even uh, more complex stuff in just a few days if you practice consistently. So hope the video helped, and I'll see you in the next one.